Okay, uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is uh, Philip from England, and um, I'm doing a free webinar. So if you have any questions about the IELTS exam, please go ahead and ask, and I will try to answer. Um, I'm just going to start sharing this in the in some different groups, um, and um, if if you uh, have a question, uh, it can be about the IELTS or uh, it can be about um, a grammar, anything at all uh, to do with English. Uh, please go ahead, and I'm, I will do my best to answer. Right. Uh, let me see. I'm going to start sharing, um, and off I go. So I'll probably just go ahead uh, with some tips for the IELTS uh, until uh, other people arrive. Um, so uh, let me see here. Uh, the uh, I'll just start with some simple, uh, some uh, sort of simple, or perhaps necessarily simple, uh, some general tips uh, for the IELTS exam. Uh, so uh, first of all, the first tip uh, for the IELTS exam uh, that I will give. Uh, let's let's talk about. Uh, writing. I think uh, maybe uh, IELTS writing could be useful uh, to look at today. Uh, now, if anyone does have any questions who is listening, uh, please go ahead and write, and I will try my best to answer. Um, let me just turn on uh, that. Right. Um, I have a notification here from somebody. Uh, thank you. Oh, you've liked that. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you very much for the like. Um, Right, uh, so I'm going to be talking about the uh, IELTS writing tips, but if anyone has a question, uh, please do go ahead and ask, and uh, then I will try to uh, to answer. Um, so uh, anyway, I'm going to as I said, I'm going to start with the um, uh, IELTS writing. Now um, I'm just going to check if there are any questions. Otherwise, I'll go directly ahead. Uh, right, okay. There's no uh, no questions, so let me go straight ahead here. Um, and that I can see uh, at the moment. And uh, so for the IELTS writing, the first tip uh, that I will mention is, um, and if you hear me clicking, I'm just actually sharing this in other groups to try and let people know this is happening. So the first tip for IELTS writing is uh, probably the most important, um, which is um, uh, for uh, being, aw being aware of um, uh, the uh, the handwriting. Uh, so so try to be aware of uh, handwriting, um, and uh, that is uh, absolutely important. Now for uh, because basically, um, I mean basically, if your English sorry if your handwriting isn't clear, then um, you know your they're not going to be able to read uh, the uh, the handwriting obviously. Um, so, and if it's if it's really not clear, you might fail uh, for that reason alone. Um, now, for many people, uh, they haven't, uh, they won't have, um, uh, they won't have, um, uh, you know, uh, practice their uh, their handwriting uh, for many for many years, uh, perhaps uh, um, you know, ten years or five years or one year or whatever. Uh, and so, in order to write quickly and clearly, um, it can be useful to uh, practice your handwriting, and um, uh, you know to to make sure it's sufficient. Um, don't think that you know the examiner's going to guess everything because you know I mean each examiner may be a little bit different or they may have rules which we don't know. Um, but also um, that's you know that's, that's kind of not a very uh, yeah even even if the examiners are going to guess everything which they may not want to they may just say well I can't understand it and that's an error. Uh, even if they could guess it, um, that's that's obviously not uh, a very uh, reliable way. Just in case um, they guess it wrong, or you know, or anything like that. So basically, anyway, basically, what I advise is uh, uh, for IELTS writing, uh, try to make sure that um, if you gave it to like you know, if you have a ch children who are ten or whatever, and uh, if you gave it to a child who is 10 and can write and read, obviously, by that age, I imagine, um, then, um, base, then um, oh, hi, okay, I have a message from Vimal Krish. Hi, Vimal, uh, nice to uh, meet you. And uh, if you have a question about the IELTS, please go ahead, and I will try my best to answer it. Um, I Yes, so the, anyway, this is Philip from England, and I first started teaching the IELTS online about uh, eight years ago. 
Um, so, um, so if you have a question, uh, please do go ahead and ask. And uh, I may not know all the answers. However, at least I hopefully know a few or more than a few in that time. And I'm a native speaker. I was born and went to school in England and also studied English literature major and creative writing minor at university. And I've been teaching many students over many years. Um, and uh, one of my last students, she just got grade eight average and seven, uh, minimum seven each section. And she had failed the exam actually, uh, she had failed it three times before uh, studying with me. And then passed after about 18 group classes with me. So uh, there we go. It's not just my imagination, hopefully, <laughs> that, that I'm able to help people. Right, okay. And also there's other students who pass as well. Um, okay, so the next tip for the writing exam is uh, make sure that you have enough time for checking. Um, so maybe the ideal would be for the IELTS uh, that uh, you would check the task one for, for five minutes and the task two for 10 minutes. You know, I mean, that's probably quite a lot of time and maybe that's kind of impossible for most people. Uh, however, um, so maybe, as I said, you can, you know, try and set a goal of, of that or uh, I don't I don't recommend just checking as as you're writing because um, that's not very reliable in fact um, um, and some people check after each paragraph I mean that's fine you know whatever works I'm not sure which would be best checking after each paragraph um, it's probably a good idea uh, checking you know at the end even if you check during each paragraph just to get a sense okay um, hello okay I've got some questions coming in thank you very much um, let me see here um, can I use any language on the speaking section? Um, um, I can't be so formal. Uh, uh, can I use daily language? Uh, I mean, I speak lower level when I try to be formal. Um, yeah, I mean, well, okay, that's an excellent uh, question, uh, Hilal, uh, and, uh, from Turkey. Um, and um, basically, one thing you can do is you can actually... Um, so you're talking here about the speaking section. Okay, so one thing you can do is uh, try to, uh, for the IELTS speaking, uh, try to, um, um, what was I going to say here? Uh, try, try to learn some phrases uh, which can be useful. Um, so, uh, for example, uh, if I'm going to be talking about the future, I could say, you know, uh, uh, look, looking, you know, looking into the future. I think, blah blah blah, or whatever. Um, so just think about uh, learning uh, phrases uh, for the, uh, f you know, for the for the uh, future, um, or, or phrases for the past. You know, thinking back, and things like that, uh, or things like, you know, personally speaking. Um, so probably what my recommendation is. Uh, um, Maybe got a memory like a like a goldfish a bit. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Sorry, hello. Yes, of course, I'm terrible with foreign names sometimes, perhaps. Um, and um, uh, what I'd say, hello, is it's your excellent question. Is um, try to maybe just think of one phrase that you can use for every answer. You know, so if, for example, um, there may be, you know, let, let's say, um, I don't know, let's say maximum 15 or 20 questions or whatever it'll be uh, for the IELTS. So try and think of like at least maybe 25 generic phrases or whatever um, so basically you can answer uh, one phrase for each question so you can say personally speaking or as far as I'm concerned or whatever and actually two, uh, two of my last students who've just passed they all did that if I'm not mistaken they, they really uh, one didn't get as quite high grade as they needed but they, they passed and then the other got a grade eight so I'm not if I'm not mistaken they did it and if you can learn useful phrases um, then this can um, um, you know, help you to um, uh, basically, you know, uh, it, first of all, it sounds professional, uh, at high level, high level, say, uh, native style. Um, then secondly, um, it also saves time. Uh, it also gives you time. So you can actually think while you're saying that. Um, and, and then also it starts off in a good way because you know basically it's going to be correct. Okay. Um, okay. Um, now I'd like to do that one more time, but the situation about the time can I learn through some other possible way? Um, well, okay, um, uh, Vimal. Um, basically, I do. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure if you're asking for some free or something, which I'm certainly. I certainly have some free material. 
Um, so I'll put the information here, and I'll have a free IELTS ebook and also a free uh, forum. So please do make use of that if you would like. Um, okay, next question is, right, I'm just going to, hang on, well, I just need to multitask here, which maybe I'm not particularly good at. Um, right, let's see here. I'm just trying to share it into other groups. Uh, and so I'm sitting. Right. Um, okay. And uh, hi, I'll just introduce myself. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, this is Philip from England, and I'm a UK native speaker. And I first taught the IELTS online, uh, starting about uh, I started first first taught the IELTS online about eight years ago. So if you have a question about the IELTS, please do go ahead and ask, and I will try my best to answer. Okay. Um, next question. Uh, please tell me. Hang on. The questions sort of seem to be going quite fast. I don't know if I'm gonna. Keep, keep missing them, something. Um, they're getting pushed off the page for some reason. Anyway, uh, next question is: um, Please, can you tell me if my answer is considered wrong? If, for instance, I write "craft" instead of "crafts," um, well, basically, um, you know, it, the IELTS exam is—they uh, check the grammar and they check the speaking. So, if your grammar and if your speaking are incorrect, uh, uh, and and that would also—sorry, I mean, my mistake—grammar uh, and spelling. Um, so basically, you do need to make sure that, that your spelling is is correct, um, and you know, and craft, uh, you know, craft and crafts, um, uh, you know, it, it could be it could be different, right? Um, so um, I, unless unless they uh, unless they sort of perhaps mention both and both both options are possible or something. So uh, yeah, so so uh, uh, basically. Um, uh, yeah, so it, it is normally important. Sometimes there may be multiple options. Um, so uh, you know, bear, bear that in mind. Um, but um, um, yeah, so uh, uh, spelling is definitely important for the uh, for the listening exam. So if if it's not an option there, um, then and use it as a different option, uh, which which is not one of the variables. I mean, you know, for, for example, a, a craft. A craft can be uh, you know a ship, you know whatever or or uh, uh, a skill or whatever. Um, so let me just check my little dictionary here. Uh, try and bring that up. Um, and also, so uh, yes, uh, and the different crafts, uh, the craft. So I mean, it could be. Uh, let me think about here. It could be a singular or plural. Uh, I'm guessing I need to maybe just uh, see uh, the crafts. Um, so you know, uh, I mean, basically, you could easily get an error. Um, I may just need to check for uh, Oxford um, uh, dictionary there. Um, so craft, the crafts plural. I'm guessing uh, I'm uh, from my knowledge. So yes, I mean some of that could be an error. Sure. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so definitely spelling is very important. And um, uh, I'm not sure if it can be uh, craft is uh, checking the dictionary if it can be uncountable. But you know so. Uh, essentially, sometimes, basically, sometimes there may be an option. So, um, unless you had a specific question about that specific word, basically, spelling is important, and uh, certainly, you know, sometimes there are multiple options. However, um, giving a more specific example, you know, book or books, um, you know, if they're looking for the word book and you write books, that would be an error, obviously, um, you, know, uh, you know, or most likely. So, Okay, so that's the answer to that. So basically, spelling is very important. Sometimes there are multiple uh, options, and it might just uh, depend on the question specifically. Okay, I hope that helps a little bit there. Um, I can't say much clearer, much more information about that, um, other than just checking the dictionary and see what it says here. Craft, uncountable noun, but also plural. So that's what I was wondering. Uh, yes, yeah, so we say something like art of craft or the craft. So, okay, something like craft. Sometimes there are multiple options, like for this word here. Uh, craft, uncountable noun, or crafts. Um, so maybe that, that question you, know, you may you may uh, get away with it, perhaps. Uh, but other ones, if it, if it's specifically there are there are not two options, then you may uh, get an error. Okay, I hope that as uh, best as I can answer that. I guess rather than spending all the cl all the time speaking about that word, although it's very interesting. Right, excellent. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead now and. Uh, just see if there are any more questions. So excellent questions so far. Thank you very much. I appreciate those. And if anyone has a question, um, 
Okay, that was for Rabia. I uh, hope that helped a little bit, Rabia. I'm not sure. Um, but, um, uh, oh, thanks for your detailed answer. Okay, I appreciate that. So hopefully, you know, just being maybe very polite, but uh, hopefully that they gave a little bit of uh, information there. Okay, uh, right. Um, okay, uh, let me see here. And uh, just going ahead now for the uh, next uh, uh, question. So that'll be a next tip uh, or, or answer to question. And that'll either be somebody has written it or uh, otherwise that'll just be for me. Okay, I'll just go ahead with some new tips for the writing. Uh, so the next tip for the writing is uh, make sure that uh, you uh, really uh, answer the question specifically. Um, so uh, basically um, you don't want to, um, uh, you know, you, you don't want to sort of start answering and then go on to a different topic kind of thing or whatever. So try to be quite specific uh, for uh, for your answer um, is is a useful to uh, you know or useful if not crucial to do. You know if the examiner thinks you're doing a topic, so make sure you understand the question as far as possible, and then you try and answer it. Um, okay. Um, obviously, if you don't understand the vocabulary, it's difficult maybe to answer directly. Uh, you just have to guess the best or whatever, and uh, hope the examiner doesn't know that <laughs> you're guessing. Okay. Uh, right. Um, now. If anybody has a question, uh, please do go ahead and ask, and uh, I will um, try to answer. Uh, please go ahead and write a question. Uh, this is Philip from, uh, it's getting a little bit dark in England. I'm in England, and the sunset is maybe about two hours away. I thought I wouldn't turn on the lights. So if you can just read it, it's onlineenglishteacher.com is my website. Um, and uh, you can also like my uh, Facebook page, uh, which is similar. and. Uh, I will put that here. Oops, let's see what I'm doing here. I'm not quite sure. There we go. Ah, oh, I can see all the questions now. Um, right. Okay. I don't know why I couldn't see them. Um, okay. So next question is. Uh, oh, I think I've answered everyone. Uh, there weren't that many questions, so I'm going to keep going ahead and um, try to um, uh, share it in some groups. And uh, right, the next tip then, unless there's a question, I'll just check. No, there's not. So the next tip I'm going to give for the writing, I'll just maybe give tips for the writing today. Uh, the next tip for the writing is, um, um, yes, the next tip for the writing is use synonyms. So uh, either for the academic or for the general, you know, certainly for the academic, um, uh, for the academic, uh, try to um, uh, also give synonyms for the question vocabulary. Um, so um, basically, you don't really want to uh, repeat the, uh, the vocabulary. Um, I've heard uh, somewhere, maybe online in a forum from someone who says uh, they're an answer examiner uh, or something, uh, that um, uh, if you repeat their vocabulary uh, for your answer, they will just skip the uh, question and uh, go ahead to the next uh, question. Um, so. Uh, yes, so it, it won't um, sorry, go ahead for the next word. So it has no, it may have no benefit um, using their vocabulary. Now, some t uh, what I normally recommend is when when you start writing, um, uh, or before you start your answer, just take a, one or two minutes at least. Um, uh, take a take a take at least one or two minutes to um, uh, to uh, make some synonyms. Okay. Which centre in London is very good to take English course and take IELTS? Uh, a question from Ahmed. Great question, Ahmed. Now, uh, do, you, do you know Ahmed? I actually teach online. So if you're interested in that, um, you can actually get in touch if you're interested at onlineenglishteacher.com. And I teach the IELTS. Uh, hang on. I need to make sure I'm moving out of the way of the... Oops, there's a bit delayed video there. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so basically, my website is onlineenglishteacher.com. If you can just read that. Um, and I'll put my... Uh, Skype ID and email as well. Um, so um, you can. Um, oh, hang on. I don't think I've done that, have I? Um, yes. Yeah, so uh, basically, um, hang on, I need to edit that and uh, try to put the data into the uh, uh, in, in here of my website, etc. Um, right. Um, so if you're interested in online training, my last students oh, uh, got uh, listening 8.5. In reading nine, writing seven, speaking eight, overall eight. Um, 
Now, um, they had failed it three times before contacting me and then needed 7.5 average 70 sections. So I do have, I have helped students before. It's not just uh, my imagination, hopefully not. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested, Ahmed. Um, oh, uh, Whoa, sorry, my voice is repeating. Um, so yes, uh, anyway, Ahmed. Now, um, uh, if you're if you're not interested, I mean, you know, there's um, there there are some famous ones. There's like International House is maybe quite good um, or quite famous. But I don't. I think it will depend, you know, a little bit on the uh, on the number of students in the class, how much you would improve. Um, anyway, if you're interested in studying, uh, my uh, website is onlineenglishteacher.com. And uh, my uh, Skype ID and email, I will try to locate that. So where do I put that here? Um, I'll put in the chat uh, window. And if you're interested, uh, do check it out. Um, maybe you're interested, maybe just looking for offline. You know, people may just prefer offline as well. That's fine. Uh, but I've been teaching over uh, for over actually 10 years online and have helped many students. So, uh, but people just like, you know, whatever reason, you know, holiday, whatever, fine. Uh, so, yeah, basically, um, there's probably a lot, a lot of good ones, um, but uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, are they all as good as online training? Um, online training, you can have single student classes, so it's a big advantage, you know, and spend a lot less money as well. You know, I have to fly around the world or whatever. Um, so, okay, uh, how about this? Online English teacher com. There we go. There's my website. Um, right. Hang on. What am I doing here? Okay. I have no idea. Um, I'm sure I'm going to be checking. I heard some noise. Um, so does that mean that someone's just written a message? Probably, uh, right. Okay. Oh yes. Um, I'm reading sometimes we must write three words only. Will I be penalized if I don't mention an article, a, and all the in these questions? Hmm. Um, I mean, well, the first thing, okay. So obviously you're talking about the reading, the, uh, uh, reading and or listening exam here, Rabia. Um, so, um, Basically, uh, no sentences you'll write for the reading will probably be normally gram grammatical. You know, you can't complete a sentence. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, if it's if it's going to be uh, if it's if it's available, it might be an idea just to put it. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure exactly how they how they would let me think about this. Uh, so if um, yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't see any harm in doing it. You know, so just to play safe. Um, I, I'm not sure any. I haven't looked at any reading exams for quite a while, I've got to say. Um, but, uh, uh, it, you know, if it's within the word limit, fine. If it's not within the word limit, uh, then, then, uh, uh, then then don't, I guess. But you, uh, you need to follow instructions. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, I would say if it's if it's available, maybe just play safe. I'm not, I'm not sure is the answer to that, but it's an excellent question. Um, but certainly no sentences would be grammatical because if it's two or three words, you know, almost always it will never be. Uh, but yes, if anyone knows the answers to that, uh, please let me know. Uh, please write there. I maybe need to check that out. Um, but certainly, if it's available, you know, if you can put the articles in, uh, you know, the book, a book, or whatever, I would say uh, th that's probably safe. I I I'm not sure. I I, I kind of guess they probably wouldn't make an error, but, but play it safe. I guess is probably my best suggestion there. But it's a good question. I maybe need to check that out. Uh, think about that uh, a little bit, and maybe ask in a forum or something. Okay, excellent question. Um, right, and. Uh, next tip for the writing exam. Um, yes, I don't normally teach the reading so much, although I have made some e course, uh, one e course about it, lots of material about it. But I normally teach, I mainly teach the writing and speaking, but I do also uh, sometimes get tips to the reading as well. Um, okay, next tip for the writing exam is um, um, make sure that you have a schedule so that you know uh, that. Um, uh, wh what is your writing advice? Okay, Ahmed, great. Uh, so, uh, great. That's what I'm just trying to do at the moment. And uh, uh, okay, good, excellent question uh, there. And I'll need to maybe check that out and brush up my knowledge a little bit there as well. Um, right. Um, I haven't looked at reading for quite a while. Perhaps uh, some uh, questions, etc. Uh, right. Uh, so uh, next. Uh, anyway, so I won't give a 100% answer, but I'll just say play it safe. You know, if if available is my my best answer at the moment. Uh, to the good question. Okay, uh, another tip for the reading exam is make a schedule. Um, so basically, um, try to uh, think about you know on reading the question for a few minutes, uh, thinking of some examples, making synonyms, then writing, then checking. Um, also, um, for uh, I, I could 
also maybe just give some other tips for the reading as well in a second maybe just i won't do all for writing other tips for i'll, I'll just go for like some quick quick tips for the writing and then i'll go ahead for uh, some reading tips so just a few minutes left um okay some more tips for the writing um uh make uh try to make very, very short sentences try to start sentences with complex words uh try to have a you know try to make uh complex sentences um and um um the different types of sentences um and um <clears throat> and you know, major minor clause etc um if you google actually arab's buddy complex sentences that's a very good resource they have there or or, or one of the useful ones i've seen at, at least some, to some extent um and uh, also um, another tip for writing is uh, uh, try to make sure that it's not it's the correct tone you know for general task one don't write informally um, and um, also um, uh, try to make sentences perhaps 15 to 25 words um, and as I said don't repeat their vocabulary um, and uh, any other quick writing tips here I can think of um, Yes, also try and make a variety of grammar structures and, and vocabulary, uh, complex vocabulary phrases, etc. Okay, I'll just maybe go ahead with a few tips for reading. Um, and, um, okay, I have a tip here from somebody. Uh, the next tip for reading is, um, hang on, I'm just going to multi Okay, I'll just go ahead with some tips for reading, maybe just for a couple of minutes here uh, from memory. And uh, the next tip for reading, I have a question. Uh, uh, right. The next, uh, hi, uh, this is from Hi English. Hi, welcome. Uh, the next step for reading is, uh, first step for reading is um, try to make like a, um, a schedule. So, for example, you're going to be reading the questions for three minutes, and then uh, after that, uh, you will be um, uh, reading the text for seven minutes, and then you will be... Um, uh, so reading the text for seven minutes and then answering the questions for seven minutes and uh, then uh, um, and then um, uh, and then checking for two minutes and one minute final, final checking. <clears throat> um, okay, so yes, yeah, so that's a, a, tips, a tip for reading. So basically for the reading strategy, there are two things. Uh, first of all, uh, make a schedule and then uh, secondly, um, try to um format the text now for the reading exam it's not really possible to read the text twice certainly for the academic which would be about 2700 words in total i think it's approximately something sometime i checked a couple of years ago or something was about um 200 sorry about uh, uh eight or nine hundred words or whatever approximately for each um uh for each um uh a section so you need to uh, make a schedule and then, uh, for example, I'll go repeat the schedule again, an example schedule, uh, three minutes checking the question, seven minutes uh, checking the text, uh, seven minutes answering the questions, two minutes checking, one minute final check, for example. Uh, and uh, uh, so that would be a good uh, strategy probably just to try to, um, uh, try to um, uh, you know, make sure that uh, you uh, don't run out of time. The, the key issue, probably the key issue for many, if not all students for the R reading is the time limit although or I won't say all in fact one mistake because some students I've talked to maybe said they didn't have such an issue um, but uh, basically you really want to be able to format the text so formatting the text for the questions and the uh, and for the text means the following uh, from my experience uh, or my suggestion um, so uh, try to uh, for the questions just underline any keywords um, and then um, Maybe make if there are any bullet points to look out for, you know, keywords to look out for. You can actually write that next to the uh, next to the text um, and the, uh, uh, to, so that you can uh, uh, check out um, when you're reading the text, looking out for any words. Uh, also for the reading, uh, for the text itself, you know, if you're only reading for seven minutes, it's really a very short amount of time. You can't probably read, you know, nine hundred words twice. I think it's almost mission impossible, even for native speakers. So therefore, underline keywords in the text, um, and um, uh, underline keywords in the text, and then uh, make bullet points next to the uh, text, so that then when you're looking at the questions, you can then, if it says, you know, if, let's say you, you know, if it says uh, one of the bullet points you can make is next to the text, or a few of them could be food, fast food, or, or fast food, um, healthy food, 
uh, change, you know, something like that. The bullet points and also underline some keywords. And then, then if the question is, when did fast food change? You could then go to that paragraph immediately. Um, and then uh, you would, you know, be able to uh, have a, have a, save a lot of time. So the key issue for the IELTS reading, uh, certainly for, I say for students who find it difficult, is the time limit. And uh, I've given these tips of making a schedule and then formatting the text to a lot of students before, or, you know, basically in my classes. And, and I think at least quite, you know, maybe quite a lot of them have said, oh, that, that's really, that really helps there. So it's just sort of a simple tip, um, but, um, uh, you know, that, that can maybe help uh, to save the time. Now, also for the reading, um, um, for when it says, you know, um, which, uh, when it says, you know, for example, which, which paragraph talks about this topic or whatever, um, what, what is probably going to be the case is it's always going to be a synonym. They won't say which topic talks about uh, junk food, and it won't say, you know, in the, par in the paragraph would be junk food. It would be, say, you know, uh, unhealthy foods or unhealthy snacks or whatever. Uh, so uh, probably if you're looking for synonyms, it's always, uh, if you're looking for uh, words, it's probably going to be always going to be a synonym. They won't make it very easy, most likely. You know, uh, I remember reading actually on um, uh, on uh, uh, IELTS, um, DC IELTS, and on uh, uh, Dominic uh, Dominic uh, Cole from DC IELTS, or another guy uh, online, and he he actually said that uh, he said that probably it's always going to be a synonym. They'll never just give the same word from the question. So I I won't say they won't ever, um, but basically you've got to get used to looking for synonyms. Um, one issue for the reading that a lot of people find issues with uh, is um, um, uh, truth or not given. Of course, there may be other ones as well. Um, so if, it's, if you've got issues with truth or not given, uh, as I was saying before, for my strategy for the reading exam is to uh, you know, do three minutes uh, read, uh, reading the questions. And, and people can change it, you know, whatever is best for anybody. But this is just a suggestion here. It's only a suggestion. And you can adapt it according to what is best for you. Um, then um, uh, for the reading, um, um, if people have a big issue, for example, with truth or not given, and this is what a lot of people have issues with, and there may be other ones as well, um, then when you're formatting the text for seven minutes, underlining key words and writing next to the paragraph or for the, for the general, you know, maybe next to sections, not a paragraph or on the, on the text of the text or whatever, um, then try and prioritize those questions at the same time. Uh, so uh, you can, um, uh, so for the reading, uh, you can, um, uh, you know, try to answer those true, false, not given at the same time uh, as, uh, as you are. Uh, trying to, um, uh, you know, format the text. And, of course, uh, as, as, was the, as was the question before, you know, the, the question may be something like uh, memory, actually. I'm a little bit out of practice with that. I need to con confirm that. Um, uh, the question also asked before. But, yes, it, you know, it'll be something like three words and, and a number or, or whatever the question would be. Oh, I need to refresh my memory a little bit since I've made e-courses and written an e-book about it, et cetera. Uh, about the reading as well. Um, then, um, um, yes, yeah, so also follow the instructions very carefully um, and if you if you don't if you can't answer a question don't sort of hang around just keep moving and then try and come back to that later um, and and also another thing is uh, the academic and the general for reading are a little bit different uh, the the academic is probably going to be harder and the general be easier however the grading system is different so in the academic I think if it's something like 32 it'll be a grade 7 31 or 32 last time I, uh, from memory, maybe 30, uh, approximately 32. However, for the uh, general, you need to get maybe 34 or something like that, to, or 34 or 35 to get a 7. So they've made the questions, the, 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 uh, the text easier for the reading, but the grading is harder. Um, so find out what grading you need to get, and remember that you don't need to get like 100% correct. Uh, you know, you're only trying to get 33 or 32, whatever, you need to get a grade 7 or whatever. So don't don't be too negative. You know, if there are some questions that you really can't answer, it's just so difficult. Well, probably it's the same for a lot of other people as well. So don't uh, don't sort of worry too much about that. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Um, uh, excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I'm doing a demo class now from someone uh, for someone from Saudi Arabia, uh, in Saudi Arabia. So, if I'm not mistaken, it's for the IELTS. Now, if anyone is interested in uh, getting in touch, uh, please do feel welcome to uh, visit my website. If you can just read it, it's a little bit light, uh, dark, sorry, in, in England at the moment, onlineenglishteacher.com, and my email um, and so on, I'll put here 
into the Skype chat. Um, and then you can just, uh, sorry, not Skype chats into the, I think I must be quite dehydrated. I'm not thinking very clearly at the moment, particularly. Uh, maybe just some water. Okay, um, anyway, so, excuse me for that. Um, so, um, here is the data again, and specifically, if anyone's looking for pay classes, uh, uh, my email, uh, my uh, Skype ID is IELTS Online English Teacher. And uh, uh, hopefully I'm not too dehydrated to forget that. And my web, my email is info at onlineenglishteacher.com and website is onlineenglishteacher.com. So, uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, this is Philip. I'm, I can see there are 19 people here, so uh, please keep the conversation going. Oh, 21 people. Oh, it's a lot. Uh, so I think it's the most ever, <laughs> maybe. 22. What's happening? <laughs> well, no, I'm happy, of course. It just, uh, it's unusual for me, maybe. Uh, right, okay. Uh, so my website is onlineenglishteacher.com. Uh, my email is info at onlineenglishteacher.com. Uh, oh, also, please follow me on Facebook. I will uh, add here, and uh, this is Facebook. Now, I don't want to be late for the demo class, and I teach Skype classes. I have e-courses, so if you're looking for paid help, I have I have free help, like a free forum and a free ebook, and then also other free material. But if you're looking for paid help, I have Skype classes and e-courses and a private forum and writing correction, you know, for email or for homework for Skype classes, and I first started teaching the IELTS online over eight years ago, and I'm a native speaker, I went to school and was born in England, and um, I've helped quite a few students pass. My last students, my last, one of my last students, she got eight average uh, uh, and minimum seven. She failed it three times before her pass the first time with me after about uh, 18 group classes. So I have a track record of helping students. Not all students, I've got to say, some don't do any homework, and that doesn't, that does not help them pass. Okay, uh, thank you very much, everyone. Uh, appreciate uh, joining and listening, and have a wonderful day, I hope.